Hi everyone, happy Friday. You know, last week I had these and I just had a bunch of pieces. Well, I kept digging and I actually found the bag that held them, which is great because look, it shows me a picture of what these are supposed to make. So that's good news. There's just still one problem. When I opened up the bag, I could not find any instructions. And so I've been fiddling with these pieces and uh, I guess I'm just not that great of a builder. I, I struggle to put them all together. You know, that is really true sometimes for us when we're reading God's word. We see a picture of what life is supposed to be, who we're created to be, and yet we struggle to make them all fit together and we really struggle to be able to have that all put right, which is why we need Jesus. Jesus is the one who comes and he, first of all, forgives us for the failures in our lives, but then he also takes even some of those pieces and he gathers them together and he starts making something beautiful in our lives. And he gives us an opportunity to participate with that as we learn and walk with him and grow with him. And to that end, uh, this reminds us of this verse in Psalm 40, verse 11 through 13. It says, do not withhold your mercy from me, Lord. May your love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles without number surround me. My sins have overtaken me and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head and my heart fails within me. Be pleased to save me, Lord. Come quickly, Lord, to help me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, sometimes we see very clearly in your word who we are to be, how life is supposed to be put together and how we are supposed to live that life out. And yet the reality is, is we don't know how to get there. And so many times in our attempts, we fail miserably and we fall on your mercy and we thank you for your forgiveness. And we ask that you would continue to build in us those things that we ourselves cannot accomplish, but continue to build in us and grant to us your righteousness, that we would continue to be able to be built into uh, the very picture of what you have always intended for us in our lives. Be that now for us, our Savior, our guide, our teacher, and our Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.